Revolting high school enrollees in current event electives to the high voltage rock and roll current that made their concert events electrifying and their highly voted role in the current electorate will follow ACDC to Washington, D.C. next on Behind the Music That Sucks. Blow up your with the release of ACDC's 57th album, the once electrifying band found themselves in a creative brownout. Mega wattaged, turbinified, staticized, and to a lesser extent, health and alcoholic, international adapter plugged, and electric trouser ill. I mean, they're all just about bloody power. When someone told us about the highest power in the land. Executive power, right? Right! The band immediately launched its bid for third-party candidacy. I give you the next president of the United States! I end this place with party headquarters! But not everyone shared the band's enthusiasm for executive power. Oh, me squeeze on this. Me cap's bloody crooked. And I never hit the bloody taps with my left hand when I'm in a bloody sack race. In an effort to correct various misconceptions, the band launched a whistle-stop campaign tour. We are pleased to announce we're found I running mate. But hasn't Bon Scott been dead for almost 20 years now? Right then. It looks like we'll go with a number two fella. George W. Bush promises he'll wear short schoolboy pants every day he's in office. Lie. <laughs> Al Gore promises he'll suck whiskey off a stick of dynamite. Lie. <laughs> this year, only one candidate will keep their promise to wear short pants and suck whiskey through a stick of dynamite. ACDC for president. Isn't it time we stopped the lying? With the election only days away, the band wired themselves into the dynamic 9-volt battery of debate. Mr. AC's DC's, elucidate if you would your position on evolution versus creationism. Who makes who? National debt. Back in black! Regulation of the media. Blow up your video! Most favored nation status for mainland China. I said blow up your infant video! Final electoral results coming in now. Al Gore, Vice President of the United States. Two electoral votes. Jim. One thirteenth, uh, approximately of Tennessee's electorate. I'm not exactly sure which thirteenth. Frank? Yes, Waldo? Thank you, Frank. Now for the results for George W. Bush, Governor of the State of Texas. One half of one electoral vote. Ivan. Eastern Delaware, maybe, uh, not sure, uh, Jasper. Yes, Ben Barr. Thank you, Ishmael. Finally, the results for ACDC, greatest rock band in the history of time. 120,000 electoral votes. Lionel. What? Oh, yes, emphatically. Priscilla. Excuse me? Hugo. Yes, thank you, Omar. I'm standing here at an empty ACDC headquarters where, as you can see, it is, in fact, Empty. Blimey! We almost spent four bloody years trapped in a balance of bloody power! This is ridiculous! It's trying to look a flock of jumbox in your bloody wine cellar! This stuff! ACDC may never ride the highway to Capitol Hill, but one thing is abundantly clear. The American political system sucks ass. I can get bloody... <laughs>